welcome back everybody to seven days to die on alpha 21 i'm an old guy came in and i am unfortunately going to give you guys a bit of bad news um i got to the the quest location retrieve the supplies and there was absolutely nothing around me i logged out of the game because i had to go do some stuff in real life and when I came back into the game, I it killed me. I, I was dead. <laughs> uh, so that death does not count. Um, in fact, yeah, it actually doesn't count. It's still showing that we've only died once, which we've only died once legitimately, and that was actually in episode, uh, the start of episode three when we died of thirst. Um... So, yeah, that's something weird going on there. See, now it's telling me I have a new journal entry for power attack, too. So, yeah, I don't, uh, don't quite get what's going on here. Do we still have all of our, our skills and stuff? What the hell? I've lost all my points. I've got all my loot. Yeah, it looks like I have all of my equipment. And I think this is all stuff that I just kind of picked up along the way to the quest location. So we've got all our armor. We have all our weapons and equipment. But we have lost our points. I have zero points available. And... So, yeah, it, they're all gone. They've been completely wiped. Okay, guys, I figured out what the problem was. Uh, the problem is they just came out. I mean, literally just came out with build 317. I was on 313. Um, and that's what was causing me to, to die. So it looks like we have all of our equipment. We have all of, you know, our base, all of our stuff, but we lost our points. So I guess I have a decision to make here, and that decision is do we start over? The Fun Pimps are recommending that we start over with 317. Um, or do we try and uh, I, uh, do use an admin command to bring our XP back or try and get as close as possible and then keep going on this save? I, I don't, I, hmm, I don't know. I mean, I'd like to keep this save going. I'm really having a, having a good time, and I feel like we're really starting to make some progress finally after that huge struggle at the beginning. Um, but it's I, it, it, you know, it, it begs the question: what else might be broken, or what what else might go wrong? So I suppose what we could do is try and um, you know, cheat in our XP to get us back to where we were and keep going for a little while longer. But if we notice that you know something's not working right you know then maybe we just decide to start over at that point um real quick the patch uh, i'm not going to read every single patch note here but there's a couple things i'll i noticed uh when i was looking at it. so it said that cooking pots and grills are now added to the trader inventory crawler zombies will actually change their speed for walk run and feral which is going to be interesting like to see how fast a crawler is going to go now um because we're on nightmare speed and then let's see lowered the snack size of cooking pots increase the price of water filters oh that's going to suck in the early game i wonder how much they are now we should go run over to jen and see crafting magazine bundles no longer guaranteed as a quest reward and as i figured they were probably going to redo they reduced the quantity of the magazines from 3.3 three to 3.2 so now you get three different types but only two of each and they also reduce the quantity of the magazines found in the mailboxes well in the world basically which oh man i mean i i guess i'm okay with that it was a little bit op but i don't know i hope they don't nerf the looting too much because everybody that i've watched and myself really likes 
the way the loading is so far. Um, let's see what else. AI attack position estimation. And I have noticed the spear sometimes connects when it shouldn't and vice versa. So hopefully that fixes that. Oh, respawn menu now appears every time the player dies with different options based on if a backpack and or bedroll is available to spawn at. If neither is available, a single respawn now button will display. Interesting, okay. Um, I think that's mostly it, or at least for stuff that applies to our particular playthrough. Okay, so... Yeah, um, what we'll do then is let's see if we can just get back to where we were before and then keep on going on. But if I start to notice other, you know, weird shit happening, then we might just end up starting over. Okay, now I need to look up that command. I haven't used it in a long time, so hold on. Let me see if I can figure out what the command is. Um, well, actually, here, let's do this first. If we just go help. Uh... I think it's like give XP or something like that. Give self, give self XP. Okay. Uh, I don't know how much XP we had. I will do the best that I can to get it as close as, you know, as possible. If I go over a little bit, I go over a little bit. That's just, that's all there is to it. Okay. So, Give self XP. So we want to go give self XP, and then we just pick a number. Let's let's do a hundred thousand. Okay, so so let's just do what we have so far. We started the game with. From the shadows and parkour one this is from this was on day one and then we put a point into spear master or sharp sticks and and then we we had per we had gotten perception all the way up to seven i before we do that though i think the only if i remember right i think the only other point we had put something into was Master Chef. I believe we took this first point in Master Chef. And I don't think I put points in anything else because we were we were fast tracking the spear. I'm just looking really quick to see if anything else pops out at me, but I'm pretty sure that we didn't put points in anything else. Um, do we have Oh, shit. We lost all of our magazines that we read, too. Okay, well, let's let's come back to that. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure we didn't put points into anything else other than just pumping perception up to seven and then... So let's do that now. Okay, we need more points now. So let's go back into here and... Give ourselves, screw it, I'm just going to give myself, okay, that, <laughs> I think we went a little, little over there, but you know what I might do is I might give myself a little extra to make up for all of the magazines that we lost. I'm not talking about the, the new skill magazines, but I'm talking about the, the books, you know, that give us perks and stuff. Um, okay, so let's get... Uh, okay, back to perception. So we had gotten up to seven. Oh, you know what? Never mind, we didn't overdo it because I already had three. Okay, how many points do we need? I had three and we were on our, well on our way to, to, to Lanceman. Uh... All right. Does it tell me how many points I need to the next level? I think it does somewhere, right? Let's go. Uh, 
Okay, so 16,068 to the next level. But we were... We were beyond that, though, too. Um... Let's say, let's go 20,000. And, um, okay, so back to here. Okay, that gets us, that gets all of our, our perks back to where they were. But we've lost all of our red magazines. So we've lost all of these magazines. And we've lost all of our perk books. Everything is reset. <sighs> um, and honestly, I don't even remember everything that we had. I remember a few things, but I don't remember everything that we had. You know what we could do, actually? don't know why I didn't think about this earlier. Let's go into the creative menu. Okay, so if we go books. I'm going to try to remember as best as I can what we had. And if I don't get it quite right, I don't get it quite right. I know we had this book. Okay, so we'll grab one of those. Um, I guess I'm going to have to throw those out. I know we had never encumbered at night. I know I'm pretty sure we had more sneak damage at night. I know we had more gain XP at night. We did not have bladed weapons. I don't remember archery doing more damage at night. Do an extra 50% sneak damage to sleep. I don't think we had that one either. Hey, we had one lucky looter book. I don't remember which one it was. It might have been the medical supplies one. I think it was the medical supplies one, so we're going to just grab it. Okay, we had a couple of 44 Magnum ones. I know that one of them was the run faster and one of them was the better barter. Okay, so let's take that and the sprinting. I think that's all we had in the Magnum books. I don't remember any batter up books at all. I don't think we had any heist books at all. We definitely had some wasteland ones. Uh, we didn't have the honey. We did have the purify water. We didn't have the coffins. We had weed plant fiber into cloth. And we had the mineral water one. Oh. Wait, where is the mineral? This one. Okay. Um, Needle and thread. We had the puffer coat one. That's only one I remember. You know, I think we might have had make t-shirts, but you know what? I don't really care about those so much anyways. Okay, so we had... Uh, did we have the coyote one? I know we had the cougar one for sure. Mountain lions. And we had another one. Wolves, bears, deer, vultures... I think it was the coyote one. So I know we had at least two of those. Okay. Um, do we have any art? Yeah, we had the buzz from coffee art of mine, and I d distinctly remember that one. Don't think we had any more of these. Did we? Did we have black strap? We might have. I'm going to take it because this is a pain in the ass. <laughs> um... Craft into stacks. I, I don't think so. 
Okay, so let's um let's read all of these. I'm pretty confident that we're correct on almost all of these. Only when I'm not 100% sure on is um, this cougar or coyote one, but I'm pretty sure we did get that at one point. So definitely confident about that one. This one, I, th you know what? I don't think we had that one. I think it's that other coffee one that I'm thinking of, so I'm not going to take that one. Okay, now... Uh, we had a couple of archery ones. It's not that. Not that one. Not that one. Not that one. It was knocking down. Yeah, I remember it was knocking down. And then... I think... I'm pretty sure it was. we had a bow degrade slower, too. Okay. Pistol Pete. Don't remember having any Pistol Pete weapon or uh, magazines or we're gonna skip those shotgun messiah um i don't think we had any of those i think we had a sniper i honestly don't remember which one though Leg shots cripple, head shots load faster. Zooming uses less stamina. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we did have that one. I think we had one of these, and I'm pretty sure it was this one, the do more damage. We might have had the ragdoll one, but I don't remember. So, okay, we had a few urban combats. It wasn't that one. It wasn't cigars. It wasn't sneaking over trash. Wasn't a landing quietly. Uh, yeah, we had the 10% more damage indoors one. Wasn't landmines and armor doesn't slow you down. I'm confident that we had all of those. I don't know if we had any. Yeah, we actually did have one robotics. Not that I care so much about that, but I think it was uh, this one. The one that instantly charged stun batons. Don't remember having any bar brawling books. Um, we did have a spear hunter. Uh, don't remember. Let's see. Attack speed. Bleeding damage. Penetrate multiple enemies. Gosh, I don't remember which one of these we had. Which sucked because this is our main melee weapon. Super damage with spears. Attack speed. It might have been the attack speed one. I don't think we had the bleeding damage. I don't remember downed opponents. Power attacks now penetrate and damage multiple enemies. That sounds kind of familiar. Okay, I think it was attack speed. I'm not 100% positive about that, but we're going to take it. Okay, now, four, five, six, seven book bundle. Bundle of random books. Now, what we could do for, uh, you know, to make up for the magazine loss is we could just spawn in some bundles and whatever we get is what we get and we call it good. We actually, I actually went through and looked at some of these. Was it in the last episode or the episode before this? I could bring that back up and look through it and probably, I, I don't think I looked at every single thing, but uh, we could at least use that to get us as close as possible. Okay, so um, I've got that clip up and I'm currently showing harvesting tools so i was level six in harvesting tools okay so let's go let's find harvesting tools and gun harvesting tools okay so six of these 
Here, let's look at this for a second. Okay, so so this should be level six. Oh, we, I guess we went one too far. Um, so I, I, I need to remember I already have one point automatically. So, but you know what? For something like this, it's not that big a deal. So we're not going to worry about it. Okay. Now, hold on a sec. Okay. So for spears, we were at level 19. Remember, we need, uh, we already have one point automatically, so 18 should get us there. Let's go here for a minute. Right, okay, so we have one point. Got to get that to 19. Is there a read all option? I don't think so. All right, so good. We're back to 19. That's where we were. Okay, let's look at the next thing that I, I looked at. Oh, I just realized that this window here in the video shows us everything we had. I don't have to actually click on it. Um, okay, so we had six repair tools. We need five of these. Okay, so we're at level six. We had five in salvage tools. We had two in knuckles. Okay, we had five in blades. Tell you what, I'm gonna, I'll put all the magazines on first and then we'll read them later because I know this is taking a little while, but I just wanna make sure we're doing this legit, so. We're as on the level as we can possibly be. We had six in clubs. We had seven in sledgehammers. We had five in bows. We had 19 in spears, which we've already done. Uh, six in handguns. Five in shotguns. I'm so glad I, <laughs> I actually did this in the last episode, or we would have, you know, we wouldn't wouldn't have known. Um okay, so we have two in rifles. Uh no, just one. We have one in machine guns, which means we never found a machine gun magazine. Uh, four in explosives. Okay, let me advance the video because I went to the next page, if I recall right. So we're only two books. Okay, now we're on the second page. So it looks like we had four in robotics. We had two in armor. We had 12 in medical. Ten in food. Uh, five in seeds. Green electrician. Two in traps. Okay, we're going to have to read all of these. Okay. Uh, five in workstations. And three in vehicles.
Okay, let's double check all of this. Um, let's do the second page first since that's where the video is. So we should have, I'm just going to go right down the list starting with robotics. We should have 4, 2, 12, 10, 5, 3, 2, 5, 3. Uh, that looks correct. Okay. Uh, now, let's go back to the first page and let me back up this video for a second. Okay, we should have six, but remember I accidentally gave myself an extra one there and we're not going to worry about it because it's not that big a deal. It's just stone tools. So we should have six, six, five, two, five, six, 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 five, two, five, six, uh, seven, five, nineteen, six, five, two, one, four. Okay, awesome. And you know what? Actually, truth be told, I did loot another one or two magazines on my way to that POI. So we'll just call this extra, I don't even remember exactly what they were, to be honest with you. Uh, but we'll call this extra harvesting one uh, because I gave myself that unintentionally. Uh, we'll call ourselves even. Okay, I think we're, I think we're as close to being back to where we were as we can be. Um, so now, you know, what we need to do is we just need to keep an eye on things and make and see if, you know, we run into any further issues. Like I said, if I start to see some weird shit going on, then, um, uh, 430, then we're probably going to have to start over. But if we can, you know, if we can just, you know, keep going from here without any major issues, I believe that's what we will do. Oh man, what a pain in the butt. Okay. So, um, I, I'll, I'll try and edit all of this stuff down a little bit, but we're still going to go do that POI in this episode. So this might be a little bit longer episode than normal, but I want to get back into the action here and I'm sure you guys probably want me to as well. Whew. Okay. So just going to put a few things away. In fact, here, let's start smelting this stuff. And, um, yeah, that's a nice little chunk of uh, iron ingots that we can get started with. So we'll put that stuff in there. Uh, while we're here, let's make some bacon and eggs, too. So we can make five of those. Beautiful. We need four minutes and 15 seconds. Put that away, that away, that away those away you know what else I think we're gonna start doing oh you know what hold on a sec uh, I want to start using iron arrows if we yeah I do okay so Let's just make a hundred of these. And I know we have um, like 20 or so. Because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spend some time uh, just harvesting resources anyways off camera. Uh, so we'll have plenty of iron later. So right now I'd like to have the iron arrowheads. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll keep one stack of stone arrows... Uh, just kind of as backups and we already have 31 iron arrows and we have 10 more heads and we have 160 feathers what time is it oh shit it's getting late hmm. the zombies down there hey get out of my pool Steve I might see if I can actually put some water in that thing at some point. I don't know. I don't know if we can or not. I know I've tried to work with water blocks in the past in this game, and it doesn't work very well, but I know they changed the water, so maybe it will. Anyway, all right, let's um let's get uh, these made up. 
and I think what I'm gonna have to do you guys is I think I'm gonna have to cut the camera here and just meet you back at that POI in the morning because it's just, we just don't have enough time I mean it's it's uh, almost 500 meters away just to get there and we got to do it then we got to get back and get to Trader Jim before she closes and it's just cutting it a little close if it was a couple hours earlier I would attempt it but I don't think we have time so I will um, I'm just gonna hang out at the house here I'll meet you guys at the POI in the morning and we'll go do that quest I hope that you know something else just occurred to me uh, oh yeah okay we still have credit for all of our quests that we've done so that if that would have been reset I probably would have started over <laughs> at that point it looks like all of this game stage stuff is also still accurate and it didn't penalize me for the for killing me um, so that's good and uh, yeah so I'm I'm feeling pretty good about this guys I think we're you know, we're not exactly where we were before there was a tiny bit of give and take there but I think we're close enough to where um, we can continue on here and uh, and make this work <coughs> as best as we can so I will see you tomorrow morning Okay, guys, we are here at the Quest uh, location. This is the Wets Residence. Um, and let's get to it. Have we done this one? I think we have already done this one. It was like one of the very first ones we did. Yeah. All right, we're gonna we're just gonna cruise through this very quickly. In fact, I might even might even do like a little uh, musical montage thing for you. So yeah, let's do this. <laughs>
Okay, let's see what Jenny has for us. If you got the Dukes, I'll make the time. Don't uh, spend it all in one place. You need to give me the Dukes. But if you do, make sure it's here. Okay, 109 mil. I think that's what we're going to take. And this is our, the first time I've noticed that we haven't had the magazine bottle as a potential uh, reward. Okay, yeah, so we'll take the 9 mil ammo. I think that's definitely what we want the most. And the next job from Jin is going to be another fetch. Oh, this one's not too far away. I've got a bit of a problem. Can it's another Bose out? market, but because oh, it's I close. Oh, I you, but, um, you know, apocalypse hygiene and all. And all, yeah, right. Um, okay, let's see. Do I have anything to sell to her? Um, this I'll sell to her. This will sell to her right now. That I need to compare with the other one. It's probably going to be the same no matter what. But we need to fix. Thank you so much. Hey, come again. We need to fix that first, so we can get maximum dollar for it. And I think we want to keep everything else. Well, you just brightened my day. Uh, it's. I'm it glad is, I could help you. It's actually day ten. Okay, so she has reset. Let's just see what she has here. Yeah, see, she's got the cooking pot and the grill in her inventory now. Um, forge ahead. Okay. She's got an iron sledgehammer. Nice hunting knife. Ooh, AK-47. Um, we can't quite afford that yet, but we could uh, definitely work up to that pretty easily. And it's green, so it's decent quality. Yeah, we might uh, we might keep that in mind for sure. Oh, we're getting this right now. <laughs> There's no question about it. Uh, oh, I guess we could have just bought the mining helmet straight up, but um, damn it, that's what we should have done, huh? Well, I think we can. Now that was a good deal. I think we can put this on our cloth helmet though. I'm a doctor. Yes, we can. Okay. Yay! We finally have a helmet light, guys. Okay, that was a long time coming. Yeah, at least it seems like it. Okay, so thank you, Jen. All right, guys. Well, um, we are out of time in this episode. So uh, I'm going to go home, drop stuff off, and then um, head over to Bo's Market. And we'll probably do the same thing for Bo's Market. We'll probably just do a quick um, speed run through it uh, with some cool music, stuff like that, and then keep going. Um, if all goes well, maybe in the next episode, uh, we'll be able to to finish out tier one and get our bicycle. Um, and then after that, the first thing we'll do is go do that buried treasure. So thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, leave a comment and share the video. And we'll catch y'all in the next episode. Ciao.